Hey there, this is another video to talk about the open source contribution. So we are heading towards October and this is October 1st month. So let me tell you what this program is all about. Again, this is like an open source program where every year this has been running and the users around the globe start contributing to the particular repository. So as I told you, this is a month long. It starts from October 1st to October 31st and you can contribute to any repos which is October 1st labeled and you will be able to be uh, contribute, uh, get some insights, do more contribution, get some perks from the October 1st, then keep on doing your open source contribution. So that's how it works like. So the registration already opened from September 15th and from tomorrow, October 1st, the contribution period starts and from contribution period ends on october 31st then around december 15 the profile get closed so all the badges must be collected by that time and you will be also having an another perks and rewards now you can do contribute in github and gitlab so any repositories with october first as topic so now if you're looking for a repository where you want to find Hacktober first. So what I do is like, I would like to invite you into my repository. If you're looking for some somewhere, you're, if you're a beginner and if you want to get started. So this is an organization which I've been running and you can just go and contribute to this particular website. So you can see Hacktober first, it is labeled. And if you go to any of the issues, almost everything is Hacktober first accepted. Now, if you see some issues which is not Hacktober first accepted, request me to add the label and I can assign you the label and you can do the contribution. So the contribution you're doing it over here, it's going to directly reflect the main website, which is this one. Now, your contribution can be anything because there is like high level documentation and everything is going on. So it, if, it, if you find a mistake or grammatical mistake, you can easily come and raise a put issue over here. And once you raise the issue, I will be assigning that issue. Then you can start working on it. Awesome. So I hope you got the glimpse about how to find an Hacktober first repository. And if you are completely beginner, so this is the right way to do it. Now, the second one, as I told you, if you are not a coder, have, feel free to come to the repository and start contributing any documentation level related work. Awesome. Now, Again, if it is not documentation, few other things are like you can work on the user experience testing, you can work on the blog post, you can work on the graphic designing part and copy editing, translation, and there's a lot of things you can do it over here. Now, a few things which you have to keep in mind is like you have to be meaningful in terms of contribution. Now, the other thing is like any automated usage of AI or um, you know spam contribution that are against this program. And if you do to spam contribution, then they will be stop you contributing from this program entirely. Now, few things which you have to keep in checklist is like you, the PR must be validated within October 1 to 31st and the repo should be having a Hacktober first topic label, which I told you um, any repo, irrespective of mine or any anybody's repo, the repository should be having a topic called Hacktober first and it should be having a PR or issues should be having Hacktober first accepted. So that's mean by if you go to the issues or if you go to the respective here PR, you will be able to see Hacktober first accepted one. And that should not be labeled as PAM or invalid and must be uh, accepted by the maintainer and merged it. Now, what are you going to get it? So once you do six pull requests like that, you will be in a, you will be getting a hollow pin. So I'll tell you what the whole open looks like and how you can add that into your GitHub profile later. Now, also you will be getting exclusive t-shirt, which is only limited for super contributors. So this is limited to the first thousand to complete six accepted PR in GitHub or GitLab. Awesome. So that's a very limited time. So you have to do find a repository, so which is very active and get this thing. Now, every t-shirt they ship, they also contribute a tree on behalf of you. So this is also a very good way of, you know, giving back to the community. All right. So let me tell you how you can find if 
if it is not mind repo you how you can find a most active repository so the first thing you can look into is the frequency of this pin update so by glimpse you won't be getting much so you can go to the commit history so the commit history tells you a lot about the maintainer and the contribution happening in that repository so you can see this been happening in five hours two days last three days four days so this has been very active now another thing is like you can look into the issue creation so when did this issue created how many conversation has been happened uh, how many people has been assigned a proper labeling has been carried out so this is a few things which you can do it now another thing which you have to look at into the pull request so how frequently they've been merging the pull request so if you, if you see a pile of pull request then your chances of getting that pull request merged would be taking longer time now you can look into how many un non merged pull request has been here how many merged pull request has been there so you can see this has been merged today three days ago four days which means that this repository is pretty much active so this is a one way that you can find out your repository is active or not now let me show you how to register for this program so go to this website the link is there in the description box so this is being backed by github and gitlab github education holopin so that's a that's a lot you can also join their discord server so click on this register for hacktoberfest if you're using github just authorize using your github it may ask you to sign up as i already logged in um this will be already signed me up and you can just say your experience level here whether you're a coder or non-coder and are you enrolled as a student maybe uh, and choose your interest over here and which country you're participating from uh, you can see here and don't email me so accept all the rules so once you have done this you will getting an email to accept your first whole open so this is how my profiles looks like and over here you will be able to see your current pull request and merge request now let me go back and show you a few things all right just give me a minute so yeah coming back to the point so you can come and contribute into this website so few few of the ways you can be in contribute into like look into the website where you can find some improvements or look into the documentation where you find okay there is some uh things could have been changed better over here or something could have there is like a lot of things which you can do it over here so that's something which you need to be mindful now once you register you will be getting an uh, email from the hacktober first just like this so you can click on this claim badge and you can just sign in with your github uh, okay just give me a minute let me sign sign into with my github just give me a minute right that gives me a verification code to my phone all right so once you sign up you will be able to claim that hacktober first patch so authorize whole open and you click on claim button over here so that's you have been claimed it so now you can share this on your twitter account just log into your Twitter and share that in your LinkedIn or social media. That would be a great way for you to, you know, share. Okay, you've been participating in this Hacktoberfest. All right, that's my tweet. Nothing happened. All right, that's all right. So you can also customize your avatar based on how do you want to be. So this, this will be your six levels of super contributor. Every PR, there will be new holopin will be unlocked and you can add this holopin into your personal profile. All right, so you can see I have received a holopin from my previous Hacktoberfest event, right? So you can keep on collecting the badges just like this, holobytes, holopin. There's like a lot of badges you can collect. So these are the limited badges and you can also put this into your github profile summary section so i hope this was really helpful for you in terms of understanding how the hacktoberfest works 
Um, and over here is pretty straightforward. The same thing I discussed. So make sure that you get all your six PR merged as soon as possible to get the thing. And you can also join their Discord channel to get connected with all other open source contributors and you know get learn from each other or something like that so i would expect you guys to come to this repository and do more contribution and you can automatically go in and raise some